climate change consultancy and then on weekends I talk to people about what makes Amsterdam sustainable. So I'm actually from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Uh, Canada Alberta is known for its uh, mountains, uh, but it's also known as the Texas of Canada because uh, we've got the oil sands and we like to drive our cars around. Um, and there's many definitions for sustainability. Um, Actually, some people say that sustainability is like uh, teenage sex. Everyone says they do it, very few people actually do it, and when they do, they do it badly. And so my definition, after thinking about it for quite some time, a sustainable city is a city that has a, a good quality of life. And uh, when I decided to, to learn more about sustainability, I decided to go to Freiburg because this is supposed to be the uh, hot spot for sustainability and I found out that they had quite a different definition of what sustainability was and uh, when I got there people were telling me that the reason they have solar panels and the reason they compost and the reason they bike is because this is the way to save the planet and uh, I thought this was quite interesting and then eventually uh, my plans got hijacked and I moved from uh, sustainability to Amsterdam and I met a guy and when I got here I saw that everyone biked and I thought, oh wow, Amsterdamers must be trying to save the planet because they're biking everywhere. And I said this to a Dutch and I said, oh, you guys must be trying to save the planet, you're biking everywhere. And he said, what are you talking about? Um, it's fast and it's cheap and the only thing we're saving is money. We're not trying to save the planet. That's crazy. So this was the first lesson I learned about sustainability in Amsterdam. And uh, here's some more lessons that I've learned in the last 10 months. The next thing I learned was that um, uh, I'm sure if it wasn't sustainable, Amsterdam wouldn't be here. So I'm sure you've all heard the expression, God made the world, but the Dutch uh, made the Netherlands. And until recently, sustainability wasn't uh, really used so much in the Netherlands as I found out in my research, because um, really the Dutch were just too busy just making sure they were staying dry. And there was no time for buzzwords like sustainability. And this was kind of interesting to see. Um, but then, I mean, being dry is definitely a, a requirement for a sustainable city, but it's not sufficient. So, um, what I found is that Amsterdam is not just a place to live, but it's also a place to enjoy life. And um, maybe you're familiar with the fact that in the, in, in the 50s, the, the car kind of became a, a very popular, not just in North America, but here as well. So, there was a plan to to solve traffic congestion by filling in uh, both single canals, and for you, uh, who like um, maybe biking or walking on the canals, you would, you'll be glad to know that never went through. And you'll probably agree that Amsterdam is more sustainable as a result. And yes, I get to talk about the Provos. I love the Provos. They, you might know them as a, as a joking anarchist group, but really they're just a bunch of hippies that were trying to make the city more sustainable. And uh, they're most uh, famous for their white bicycle plan. Uh, they try to set up a, a bike sharing plan where everyone can pick up and drop off those white bikes. It didn't really work out, but guess what? Fast forward a couple decades and cities all over the world are using the bike sharing programs that were inspired by them. Maybe you're familiar with the Car2Go program today. Uh, it's not so inno innovative because after all, it was again the provost who first came up with the ideas in the 60s and successfully piloted it in 1974, the, the electric white car sharing plan. But the Provos were not the first, and, um, and already in the 1600s, Amsterdam was planting trees because they believed this would made, uh, made the air better to breathe and just a better city to live in. And there have been many uh, other things since then. Um, and for example, one thing that I find quite interesting is the creativity of the resourcefulness in the city, I think, really makes Amsterdam uh, a sustainable place. So things like um, uh, the, the, container, the container houses in northern Amsterdam, we definitely don't have this in, in Canada because we've got a lot of land so we don't have to worry about where we put people. Um, <laughs> So I, I find it quite innovative the way uh, the way these solutions are solved. Or taking a, um, an industrial uh, dump in a way, you know, like Western Gas Fabric, and turning it into a wonderful, wonderful park. Uh, this is a challenge that not many cities manage to to solve, in a sense. And Amsterdam, I think, does it well. And actually, the building where we're today, I think, is a good example of that as well. So the conclusion: Amsterdam is sustainable because it has to be and because it wants to be. Uh, if you don't think it matters, um, think again, because this is the reason why people love living here. This is why they come and they never leave very often. And if you want to talk more about sustainability, I walk and talk sustainability some Fridays and Saturdays. And there's some events coming up and I'm looking for some sponsors and my contact information. Thank you. Walk and talk sustainability Fridays? What's that? Uh, we 
we walk around Amsterdam in different hotspots and we talk about uh, what makes those places sustainable and maybe where more work is needed to make it more sustainable. Where are some points that Amsterdam is lacking? Some points where Amsterdam is lacking. Um, okay, so we're getting a little negative here. I thought we were going to talk about what makes Amsterdam sustainable. Oh, yeah, well, we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can do both. Uh, in my experience, I think uh, the buildings need some better insulation. Uh, that's one of the problems, I would say. <laughs> Any more positive questions? <laughs> yeah. Talk to me later. Where can we find you online? Um, SustainableAmsterdam.com. Okay, pretty easy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.